Welcome to Raywan's technical tips. Today we will show you what comes in a TJM tire repair kit and how to use it. The kit itself is very simple. It comes with all the tools necessary to, to do the repair yourself. It comes with a rasp tool, a set of pliers, a needle tool and the tire repair cord and all the bits and pieces needed to do the repair. Now let's move on to the tire and I'll show you how to do it. So the first step is to locate the puncher. Usually it's a small debris like a screw which is causing the air leak. So you rotate your tires and you find the air leak. Then you use some water to make sure that uh, the puncture is actually leaking and it's not self-sealing. So we spray some water and we find air is leaking. Step two, using the TJM tire repair kit, we take the supplied pliers and we remove the debris carefully. Make sure you don't hurt yourself and you remove the debris properly. The debris is out, we use the reamer tool to make sure the hole is uniform. We apply a little bit of lube and while sliding the reamer tool in and out we make sure it goes in a circular pattern so that the hole is uniform for our repair cord tool to slide in. For the next step we will use our needle tool to slide the thread repair, uh, repair cord inside the hole. To do this step I usually uh, remove my gloves as since we have to thread the repair cord in the hole itself so it's easy. We take one repair cord out, we slide it inside the tool, we just have to make sure it's halfway between this tool, we take the tool back, if this step is optional you can dip it in a bit of grease to help it slide in faster and we just have to push the thread cord in, it should be almost all the way in, uh, maybe just a little bit of thread should be outside, yeah? so we just push it in. So once the tool is almost out, you just have to make sure you pull it back in so the threads remain in the tire itself. So once the threads are back in, you can leave this as it is or you can use the given, uh, given blade to cut this off. I prefer it to be like this and air up the tires and drive it for a while because this usually comes flat with the tires. So now we'll show you how to air up the tires and then we'll do a quick check to make sure the puncher stays. The final step is to fill air in your tires. You can use TJM's range of air compressors, they are pretty good. So simple, we'll just thread in the air compressor chuck in. So once the chuck is fully seated, we'll just switch the compressor off. Once the compressor has finished pumping up your tires, you just remove the chuck. I like to double check the air pressure using TJM tire gauge. So it shows 30 psi. Now we'll double check our work and we'll see if the pressure repair which we did is still leaking or not. So you can use water. I am using soapy water for video purposes. So as you can see the leak is fully repaired and now you can drive away.